But you've been playing, uh, this is Dave Goldberg hey. of, of the Mersey Beats. Who, uh, you've been with the Mersey Beats for some time, haven't you? Since, uh, yeah, since the early 90s. Early 90s. Uh, and kind of with um, with Bill, Billy Kinsley, with the Express. For yeah, I had the pleasure of meeting Billy the first time last year. He's Did a, you? He's a really, really nice fellow, isn't he? Yeah, really cool, nice fella. yeah. yeah, well, I've known him for like. 30 years now I've been playing with him, I can't believe that, you know, it's, uh, And you're still going out as a Mersey Beats, so yeah. Still going out as a Mersey Beats, yeah. <laughs> and uh, occasionally um, some Express gigs as well, as you know. That's, that's Liverpool Express, which is yeah. Billy's, is the band that Billy started after the Mersey Beats, was Yeah, it? After, it was, that was after Mersey Beats, it was kind of mid-70s. Yeah, it had quite a few hits yeah, with that. Yeah, he yeah. yeah, yeah, did really, really well perfect. with that. And, um, but, you know, I, I, the thing is, well, the, the reason why I'm involved with this is because of the, the Mersey Beach stage, you know, this yeah. kind of so idea that it doesn't kind of mean anything. I can't understand that at all. You that know? Means, I mean, means when it's a lot to you, does it? Yeah, it does, yeah, because it's, uh, you know, when it's a feature around the world, the whole festival, I mean, it's, it's probably the biggest free festival. Around, you know. Well, it's and not it's that enough, free because apparently the EU do pay considerable amounts of money. Do they fund it? Yeah. We're not sure how much, but that's how the, yeah. the economics work. So, yeah. But it is an enormous amount of money that comes yeah. into the city. Yeah. But it means free festival as far free as free people, for the people. people don't have to pay. You Which know, is marvelous, I mean, there's no yeah. there's no entry fee or anything. You yeah. know, and uh, but like the idea that you know. There wouldn't be a Mersey Beat stage because you know, which was the music that kicked the whole, the whole of the beat culture. Well, I, you know, I, I don't know whether you, you had a chance to see the uh, the email sent to Billy Butler. Oh, sorry, I didn't. But um, basically, there are only <coughs> two towns in the world. Yeah, yeah. right. Music. Oh, boy, it's okay. Yeah, I've got to do that size. I've got to It's this man in the way again. We're gonna have the, the interview. <laughs> You in the interview. Yeah, Brian Jones, yeah, like <laughs> the infamous <laughs> sexual beast. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> what are you doing now? Hold on. What, what have you got? What is that, what is that open? Brian's just trying to get some white oh, powder. Yeah. Some talcum here. powder. Hey, it's not talc! It's hey. not that. Ah, right, right. That's what's better. I'll give you that. I get out and stay out. Sex, <laughs> sex and drugs and rock and roll. Yeah, so, I mean, it just occurred to me there are only two towns on the planet, aren't there? There's, there's uh, New Orleans and yeah. Liverpool. Well, I think, I think that the whole of the world still looks to Liverpool for, for the music, as the sense of the music. I, I really believe that. Yeah. And I, and I know years ago, really, I, I, my vision of Liverpool would have been like to be going down Dale Street and seeing all the record companies right down Dale Street, CBS, you know, yeah, yeah. Atlantic, all that. But it never happened here, but it's still a very, very <laughs> focal place, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Right, Riley, have you not done your bit yet? You've had at least two minutes, what's up here? <laughs> we haven't rehearsed this, by the way. This, this, none of this is rehearsed. I thought it was rehearsed. It's, it's, so, it's so professionally it's so, done. And it is so professional. It's, yeah. it's, it's like it's completely about. scripted. And the is growing by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we, we've been here now, what, four, four hours, four and a half hours, so yeah. we're all a bit knackered. Right? It is, yeah. And Dave's, Dave's come in and helped us, which we're really appreciative of, because he came in at the last minute, because uh, Sam Hardy from the Dominoes couldn't make it. And, uh, far better keyboard player. And Dave no. is a far better keyboard player than Sam Hardy. <laughs> is that what he meant? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one to blow me old trumpet. as a whole play one, you know. There you go. So, so uh, that's tremendous. Yeah. So uh, we're laying it down. We're not finished yet. Oh, we've got a bit of stuff. No, there's a bit to go, yeah. Uh, some overdubs and vocals and Brian Jones sticking a bit of sousaphone on. Oh, sousaphone. In, his, in his usual. <laughs> In his usual way. Well, what about a plug for the Mersey Beats? Where, where are you going late? In? Mersey Beats is still playing quite a lot. There's, quite, there's a couple of um, uh, cruisers coming up, you know, with uh, Reynolds and that, you know, going to like, the Canaries and stuff like that. The, the actual, the actual gig kind of thing is, is it's been fairly quiet, you know, like right. this year, really all round, you know, just got the yeah, session, session, yeah. daily session stuff, isn't it, you know. Okay, ready? But still quite a bit of work there, you know, and um, 
So we, you know, we've got lots of different things. There's a couple of festivals coming up, some, you know, uh, picnic in the park, in mm -hmm. Essex and stuff like that. You know, when so when's picnic in the park? That's uh, July. Ish. Something like the 60s, mm, 70s, right. something like that. So the Mersey meets a picnic in the park. Pi a picnic in the park. A picnic in the park. Mate, so what's a what's, it's a what's it's that's whilst these guys are not important enough for the Liverpool Festival, the guys down south want them. Well exactly. Yeah. So there you that's go. It. I mean, you know, you could go, you know, any festival probably anywhere around the world will always have at some point some kind of Mersey beat band 